Hello my dear student, hope you are fine and taking care of yourself at your home and uh, you are doing all your work on time and you know that if you are having any doubt you can ask your doubt during online classes. So you can see these videos and please do like and subscribe my channel for further notification and uh, today we will do the next topic that is already we have completed in chapter 10 gravitation that is free fall and equations of free fall on that day last video i have explained you about the uh, numerical one numerical we have done now we are doing the back exercise numerical which are given on page number 144 of your ncrt so the first uh, other numericals are related to other topics so related to free fall equations questions those are so that is question number 13 what is that question a ball is thrown vertically upward means in upward direction like this I am having marker or like this is a ball so you will throw it upward so with a velocity of means with some speed you have thrown it so what the question is calculate the maximum height to which it rises key up to which right height it will go and the total time it takes to return to the surface like this if it is a ball that is a question I have to throw it up it will go up and then when it will come to ground so we have to calculate that total time so as you can see this for the solution this is the ground from the ground we are throwing the ball we are throwing it in upward direction so at maximum height it will come to rest and we have to calculate this maximum height so with what initial velocity we have thrown 49 meter per second maximum height we have to calculate it acceleration due to gravity is as you know that free fall bodies have acceleration due to gravity and in this case I have written 9.8 but as you are watching we are throwing it upward so numerically we will put minus 9.8 meter per second square not this value we will put this value why because we are throwing the bodies in upward direction that's why so and what we have to calculate now maximum height at highest point final velocity final velocity will be 0 so by third equation of motion of free fall what was that v square minus u square is equal to 2g h substitute the values 0 square minus 49 square is equal to 2 into what we will take minus 9.8 why because when you will you throw the body upward its speed decreases so it is a retardation case that's why we are taking minus 9.8 and h we have to calculate solve this so 0 becomes 0 square minus 49 into 49 upon next step we will bring it upon is equal to minus 2 into 9.8 into h or we can remove the decimal it comes 10 so as you know that this is minus and why it not becomes plus because it is not inside it is outside the bracket if it is minus 49 then it becomes minus 49 minus 49 it is outside the bracket that's why minus remains minus minus 49 into 9 that let's solve it further so what you will get minus and minus will cancel out both sides so what you will get 49 into 49 upon 2 into 98 and this decimal 10 get multiplied is equal to height you will get it solve it now after cancellations you will get it like 7 7 is a 49 1 or 14 7 1 is a 7 7 2 is a 14 and then 5 so like this if you will solve it 45 4 20 24 so you will get it by 2 meter so when you will solve it you will get 120 1 2 2 to the 4.5 meter so when you will throw the ball with this speed 49 meter per second so the maximum height it would attain 122.5 meter per sorry 122.5 meter and in this case what is the hint we have to take by ourselves that is final velocity is zero at highest point it is not given in anywhere in the question you have to think by yourself at highest point we have to take velocity 0 meter per second initial given 
velocity given acceleration is constant minus we have to take because it is a case of retardation throwing upward speed will velocity will decrease that's why so retardation case and you will solve it now let's do it second part total time to return to the ground means you are throwing it up so it will take time t1 let's do that question now now let's continue with the second portion that is total time it takes to return to the surface of the earth means the ball we have thrown upward or the same ball comes downward we have to cal calculate that total time so first of all let's take t1 is the time taken to reach to the top and t2 is the time taken to reach to the ground so what is the total time t is equal to t1 plus t2 in case of free fall time of ascent is always is equal to time of descent we have to use that property time of ascent is equal to time of descent means t1 is equal to t2 in case of free fall when height is same when height is same height is same means whenever the body is coming from the same height at that time only so by first equation what is the first equation v is equal to u plus gt now v we don't know v what is the final velocity zero what is the initial velocity it was given in the question 49 meter per second as the body is thrown upward so minus 9.8 into t so multiply transfer this first minus 49 minus 9.8 into t minus the minus cancel solve it 49 upon 98 so we have removed the decimal also side by side so it is the time t1 we are calculating so solve it one or cancel out 2 and 5. So what you have got T1? 5 seconds. Just now I have told to you that time of ascent is equal to time of descent in case of free fall from the same height. So what is the T2 value also? 5 seconds. We will not calculate it. Similarly we will write it. So total time is T1 plus T2 that is 5 plus 5, 10 seconds. So this is all about today. You can try other numericals given in your book. Other and do this numerical in your textbook also, notebooks also. One by one, slowly, slowly we will do these numericals so that easily you can understand. If you are having any doubt, you can ask during online classes. Thank you, Victor.